real quick, we're going to go over how to line up holes on your tube chassis to make panels. So, the way that we're mounting these, we're not using tabs, we're using the P clamps available in, I think it's packs of 20 on uh, skymodelsupplies.com. So, we're using the P clamps for the panels as well as our aluminum panel material. So, the way that we actually made these panels was pretty cool. Um, our customer, Monster Fab, Daniel Reese, he had showed me how he made his panels and he actually puts clear packing tape over the area and then traces it with the Sharpie and then you transfer that clear template onto your aluminum. Cut it with. So anyway, so we have our panels made. I already did a little kind of a brushed finish. This is a really easy finish to accomplish also. So literally you just take your fine grit sandpaper thing, it's just like 220 and you just same way. As long as you go the same way the whole time, you don't get any weird extra marks and everything's nice and uniform. So get that kind of brushed finished. Throughout the roof, because everything's already nicely finished, I like to use a piece of cardboard. I'm gonna use the USPS cardboard. So we have our P clamps located. So I have these little braces on the windshield and on the back behind the driver there. So basically that's where I want the, the screws to be. They're going to be in the corners. So you're going to set on your panel, this, this example, the roof. Set on your panel, get it pretty centered. And then I like these little spr uh, spring clamps. I'll put a link to them in the tools we use section. Uh, I actually have a little rubber coating on them, but I had removed it for some reason. I don't exactly remember why. So now that we have it all located on there, right? And flip it upside down. Once again, I'm using this cardboard just so I don't mark anything up. Okay, so you can see that we have the clamps pushed down so they're flat up against the aluminum and all the corners. Everything looks pretty centered. Not this one. Let's move this one over. Make all your adjustments. So everything's nice and centered in there. You can make sure there's nothing on your cardboard there. You don't want to scratch up your nice panels that you just made. And then just take a Sharpie and go right in the hole. Make your marks. These ones will be a little trickier because of that extra bar. But same idea, just go straight down. Now we have all of our marks, we can unclamp it, and then we'll go back and drill all those holes. So we drilled all of our pilot holes with a oh, 3 30 seconds uh, drill bit, and I'm going to go back and I'm going to hit the top, so we drilled from the bottom where our marks were, and I'm going to hit the top with a small step drill because it's got like a nice you know, little chamfer on there. And as it goes through, it kind of cleans the hole also. So we have our holes drilled. So this is drilled to 1 8. So it'll drop the M3 in real easy. I'm going to use some stainless. I was kind of going back and forth if I wanted to use black oxide or if I wanted to use stainless for this. Um, just for the look. I think I'm going to leave these panels raw. I like the finish on them. I'll be hitting with some clear. But So these P clamps are on our website. And the reason I chose these ones this is the 3 sixteenths, so it'll fit on your tubing or your solid rod easily. And then it's got a, what is that, a 3 I think it's got like a 7 64th hole on it, so you can actually, it's plastic, you can actually thread the screw straight into that if you use an M3, or if you use an M2.5, um, you could use a nut on the back side. So we are going with M3s and screwing them directly into the clamp. But I'm still undecided if I'm going to do uh, 2.5s on this or not. They don't look too bad, so I'll probably leave the M3 and we'll go with the stainless. Kind of so get everything nice and located on there. Another benefit of using the P clamps 
over the tabs uh, is if you messed up a little bit on your hole, there's a little bit of fudge room. <laughs> If the hole's off a little bit and you use the peak lamp, you can just wiggle things around until it lines up. You know? And make it all nice and centered and then tighten it up. But if it was a welded tab and you messed up your marks, you'd be making a new pen. So, this is good for making things easier for the beginners and it's also kind of a time saver. You know, last minute, or say you already have a cage painted and then you wanted to add a panel to it so you had like a naked naked buggy hull tube before and then you wanted to add paneling to it. These P clamps would make that easily. The other thing too is you can do uh, accessory mounting if you wanted to make like a little plate to put like your electronics on. You could have them mount to this and that would also work. So there we go. There's our roof panel. Now it's centered. So roof, sides. Well, we got this hood panel. I'm not sure if I like that exactly. I might change the design a little bit. I might do two pieces. I don't know. We'll see. But there you go. Some quick tips on uh, making custom panels and installing them on your tube chassis. Thanks for watching.